Yes, the president is vowing the U.S. will respond in the appropriate measure and time. They're not going to telegraph their actions. When it comes to those three troops who were killed in that deadly drone attack, they will not release the identities until next of kin have been notified in 24 hours after that. And the administration saying, well, there have been dozens of, of others injured. They expect that number to also increase as more members of the military come forward with traumatic brain injuries. But this attack occurred in Jordan, in the northeast portion of the country near Syria and the Iraq border. It's at an outpost called Tower 22. And Jordan is a staunch ally of the United States. And while there are thousands of U.S. troops deployed in the country, in this location they estimate roughly around 350 U.S. military personnel are based. Now, the president and the defense secretary have both come forward saying they will respond. Over the weekend, the president will delivering remarks at a political event at a Baptist church in South Carolina asking for a moment of silence. We lost three brave soldiers in an attack on one of our bases. Yes. And uh, I asked if we could lose silence for all three of those small soldiers. And we shall respond. Now, the United States has conducted retaliatory strikes against Iranian-backed militia groups previously, following what the administration has described as a barrage of drone attacks and rocket attacks. However, none have been deadly to the point uh, as, this as this drone attack has, but it still has Republican members on Capitol Hill asking for a stronger and swifter response to this attack. You have Mitch McConnell, the top Senate minority leader, calling for, quote, serious crippling costs to Iran. Other like Lindsey Graham calling for strikes and targets inside Iran. Well, the top Senate Republican on the Armed Services Committee said, quote, the administration needs to act swiftly and decisively for the whole world to see. Now, the administration, you guys, is trying to balance the response to this deadly drone attack without also widening the conflict in the region. They say that they also want to firmly confirm who was responsible for this. They know it's an Iranian-backed militia, but exactly which group and whether or not this attack was launched from Syria or Iraq. You guys. And White House correspondent Serena Marshall live for us this morning. Thank you, Serena.